is the 26th of August. It's about 9 a.m. and 78 degrees. This week, I think Tuesday and Wednesdays are going to be our hot days where we get into the hundreds, like 104, 106, something like that. And then um, uh, it goes into the 90s, and the lows are in the high high 60s, low 70s. So, I'll show this. We're going to pump this into our rain barrel. We had emptied this about midnight. Those two have quite a bit in them. And I'm going to keep that water because I can keep lids on it. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in the yard today only because I have some big garden club projects I got to get done and um, the yard hasn't been my focus this week because of that I've had some and I got to go to a meeting today at 11 so anyway I'll just kind of we still have a chair out there and our our um, trash cans I want to clean this area up back here so I haven't put all of the containers and stuff back I think we started watering uh, drip watering again on um, Thursday Friday I don't remember just because some of the surface surfaces were dry. My antenna's pretty. I definitely want to get in and take these two uh, if I get my stuff done for the club, I'm going to empty this one. Actually, I'm going to empty the ones over there that have nothing in them. And these two that things aren't doing real well. And I'm going to redo the containers. This did die. Although the... Tomatilla is still alive, but they ain't gonna make it. I got some water running, I can hear it. Oh, there is a spray over against the wall I need to fix. Oh, I got lots of noodle beans. I didn't realize I did. Um, my husband came out and got a few okra, but I don't think we have those noodle beans, so I need to get those. <clears throat> this looks pretty, the salvia. And for some reason I got grass coming in this bed that I got to contend with. I've already taken a bunch of it out. See... <clears throat> This little antenna was in that round bed and it had nothing on it. And now, since I moved it, it's got flowers. Um, this is my walking onions. They've got sprouts coming up again. That's kind of cool. I don't know if my crepe martel made it. It doesn't look like it. But. I wanted to show the Mexican petunias from this angle, you know, because the backdrop of those ugly tomato plants in the background make it look so beautiful. <laughs> those are the bits that I gotta fix too.
peppers are big. That pepper over there, that serrano, took some beating, I think, from some kind of wind or something. But the okra, okra are doing good. This is their southern weather. They love this. And then I'm not going to call these okra this time. These are zucchini. But look at the size of the bloom on that zinnia. That is really pretty. These two. Um, I think I got those seeds from Urban Farmer. So I'll probably buy from them again because that really looks pretty. And then <clears throat> my husband says that I have cucumbers on this, a little tiny one at least, a couple little tiny ones. But um, they won't show themselves to me because they know I'll eat them. So I think they hide from me. Um, this is what I think zinnias usually. Ooh, I got bugs on there too. That's the size zinnias I usually wind up with. So to see the difference in size, that's just awesome. I love it. Yeah, I probably won't ever buy any of those, you know, grocery store seeds again. I'll probably always buy the Urban Farmer or something that done some hybriding of it maybe I don't know I got some peppers to pick too oh this guy's coming alive finally I planted this and I thought it would go gangbusters this Mexican petunia and it's and I want it there because I wanted to cover that area to hide that electrical box <clears throat> that's our sprinkler system but it hasn't been growing that great the ones in the pots here were doing much better and I'm getting ready I potted up one of the Mexican petunias because there's three of them that I've got for a project a club project so oops lizard um, <clears throat> these two I haven't potted up there in gallon pots right now I'm getting ready to pot those up and the other one I already stuck in the two gallon pot because when we pulled it out of this area um, the roots were already deep into that that container there so um, I took it out and gave it a new home <clears throat> I think that's all I want to cover. Ooh, I got some noodle beans here, too. So I've got to go around and collect all my beans. There's another one. That'll be fun. I'll make something with noodle beans tonight. Anyway. skies yay that's my garden diary today is the 24th of August and this is what we got out of the garden um, it looked like the <coughs> spaghetti squash vine was dying so we picked that so I got one off of each vine which that's not a very good yield but I'm happy that I at least got two spaghetti squash this year. And then I got some more okra. And I got a quick calling zucchini okra on my videos. I keep doing that. <laughs> what a gardener I am.